What's up guys, it's Barson Boy here with Let's Get Ready to Rumble Episode 3 and as always I'm joined by a man who if he was Berbatov he would have put that bar in the back of the bar, that ball into the back of the net instead of over the bar. Mark Philbo, how are you doing? I'm grand, sure. I probably would have managed to get the bar in as well I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the topic for this week is Georgie Thompson versus Charlotte Jackson and if you don't know who these two are there'll be a picture on the screen of each one of them and uh, these are the two finest young Sky Sports news presenters around absolute gorgeous and uh, yeah Philpa I'm letting you flip the coin because everyone says I was fixing it so flip that coin okay and well, let's get let's get going here's the proof that there's a coin now oh <laughs> okay, okay I'm calling heads okay heads it is Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. I always win. It's not fixed. Okay, I am picking Georgie Thompson. Okay. Right. Do you want me to lead the argument again? Go for it. Right. Georgie Thompson is by far the better one out of the two because she is always there when you come in from school or work or college. And she's there on the telly giving you all your little bit of news that you want to know looking as fine as hell as always and she's always there for you do you know what I mean yeah okay well Charlotte Jackson is just so much better because right if they were standing side by side you see Charlotte Jackson I don't know what height she is but she's definitely taller than this little fucking dwarf uh, <laughs> um, who was like four foot or something uh, and that even that would just you know you see them standing side by side you go wow Charlotte Jackson, please. And have you seen Charlotte Jackson in a pair of jeans? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like heaven. Well, to be honest, I'm not looking at the pictures of her in her jeans when she's in her fucking bikinis, you know, because she was a model. But here, does see, this is my thing. With Georgie Thompson, she hasn't been paraded all over Lads magazines. So if you're with her, you know there's been less wanks had about Georgie Thompson than there have been about Charlotte Jackson. Um, and and okay, okay. right if she starts annoying you like okay you might say she's a manly voice i think that voice is kind of sexy not saying that i like men in any ways but it's like <laughs> oh hello welcome back to sky sports news you know it's pretty hot you know and if she's getting in your you know if she's doing your head in because she's so small you can pick her up fold her into your back pocket and you don't have to listen to her <laughs> brilliant <laughs> That's a pretty good argument. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, bring it. <laughs> okay, well, no, I'm sorry, but her voice is, is too manly for me. Um, you know, she, if anyone who has a, a woman who has a deeper voice than myself just is not a turn on. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry, Charlotte Jackson wins hands down. Uh, I know you're saying that you have lads got like having a little, you know, fiddle with themselves. Exactly. So all the lads will be, you know, jealous of you walking around with this, basically a model, like walking around. She, See basically a model. She, it was a model. The baps hanging out. <laughs> Come on, and uh, I'm actually rubbing my own nipples at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, would you? But you're not. But you not remember the Sky Sports ad that he had, and you saw Georgie Thompson on the bike in the full leather suit, and you're like, yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. True. No. True that. True that. But. Actually, here, I think we should both say, right, if they were both standing in front of you and said, oh, we want you to take us right now, <laughs> right? <laughs> You're hardly going to say, sorry, Georgie, I'm going to stick with Charlotte, I'll just have her. You're going to say, all right, bring it on. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose, but it's it's a good battle because Georgie was the the babe of Sky Sports and Charlotte's coming in trying to rob a little bit of that credit, you know. So, and so actually, that's you my said, argument. You know the way they only hire hot women, and yeah. they're like sacking Andy Gray and Richard Keys for being sexist. That's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, because some of the there's a few other women popping in now. Oh there. yeah, I know. Yeah. Yes, yes. So it's not Andy Gray and Richard Keys that are sexist. It's Sky Sports themselves trying to sex up all this sports because they know fellas are watching it for all the sports. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Anyway, we're going to keep it nice and short and sweet. Uh, leave a comment in below who you think won, which one's your favourite, and leave us more suggestions for the next topic. 
of one thing versus the other and try and keep it as random as possible because we can have a better laugh that way. Yes. Yes. Oh. Miss Philpa, thanks for your argument this time instead of giving yeah. up like last no time. <laughs> no problem. Right, I will. Good luck. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye bye.